welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to do a reading wrap up of all the books that I read this month of March. And I read five books in total and I'm super excited to make this video. Let me tell you how excited I am. It is currently 6 a.m. So I'm going to be starting with the first book that I gave a five star, which was As Good As Dead. I've talked about this consecutively in all my videos, so you can really tell I love this book. I'm gonna do a super, super, super quick synopsis of what this is. This is the, this is the third book in the As Good As Dead in the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, and this is the final book of the series. And after the success from Pip's last two cases, in this book, she is the main victim, she has a stalker, and the stalker keeps asking her, when you're the one who's gone, Who's gonna find you? Who's gonna come looking for you? That's what the book is all about. I gave this book a five star. I really enjoyed it, full stop. I sobbed, I cried, I giggled, had heartbreak. I think a lot of the emotions I had were heartbreak related, but I really enjoyed it. In the beginning, I thought I would know what was gonna happen in this book just because I read the first two books and they were similarly written. And so they had kind of a similar pattern as to what the second book was in relation to the first book. And so I thought this book would be the same. It was not. I feel like at every end of the part of the book, it had me discovering something new. It had me stopping reading, stopping for a while, looking around and just closing the book and being like, what just happened? If I thought I knew what was happening on the next page, I did not know, let alone the next chapter. And so this book really kept me on my feet and really had me thinking, you know, actually, maybe I should just stop guessing. I've said it once and I'll say it a million times. I love Pip, the main character's character arc because she just went from being this normal silly little girl solving silly little cases, becoming silly little famous with her podcast, to having a stalker, playing games that consist of life or death, saving her family, Jinjay! And if I thought I knew Pip and Ravi's relationship, I did not. Sobs, tears, waterfalls, Jinji. And one thing I also really liked was how she combined all the characters from the first and second book into this final book. How everything and everyone just came together to make sense. Characters from the first and second book come again in this third book. It just shows how we thought some people were innocent in those books and it just turns out to be the other way in this book. And so I really liked how that was kind of neatly tied together and that really made sense. Gave this a five star. The next book I read this month was Love Lockdown. This was a book that was on my TBR for a very long time. This was on my TBR for the longest time, maybe three, four, or five months. When I read it, I was like, why did I not pick this up sooner? But this book is basically about it has eight characters, so let me take a big breath and try to tell you about all those characters. So this book consists of Imogen, Isla, Danny, Zach, Lorena, Olivia, Ethan, and Charlotte. Basically, they're all living in this one building. Well, some are living and some are visiting some friends, and then a virus comes along. We know which virus. The building is on lockdown because they find the case in the building, and so the whole building has to go to lockdown. And so the people who are visiting their friends in the building are stuck now. And so there's five different stories that are going on simultaneously. Some are connected, some are not. So basically one is about a girl who is single and who is laying around era. And there's a couple who is at their wits end, might end the relationship. There's one who are just in their honeymoon phase. And there's one that, a girl who's single. And there's one where this guy is madly in love with his girlfriend and wants to propose to her. So those are all the five stories that are in this book. Um, I really enjoyed it. I felt like this was a really nice read. I think it's a great read for a palate cleanser because it doesn't have too strong themes of anything and it's just like a a nice happy happy go read i gave this book a four star i think i still agree with my rating maybe i'll go for a three no i'm gonna give it a four i'm not gonna be too harsh and i absolutely loved ethan the one who wants to propose to his girlfriend i feel like he was the sweetest little charming man in the book i just thought it was adorable and i gave it a four star really enjoyable read the third book i read was uh they do it with mirrors this was also a palette cleanser kind of book because this was really thin i was just missing reading an agatha christie book it had been a very long time since I read one and to do a quick what it was about is basically Miss Marple like Agatha Christie as I don't know how to pronounce Hercule Hercule Poirot whatever it is that's one of the main detective characters she has and then she has Miss Marple who isn't a detective but she's like an old lady who tries to solve crimes with her spare time that's her hobby basically uh, Miss Marple is talking to her friend 
her friend talked to Miss Marple about a third friend that they have. And this friend tells Miss Marple that she feels like something is off with their third friend. I guess I haven't read many of Miss Marple's stories. This is the only first one I think I've read. But what I read from this and what I got was that this friend, again, sorry, I forgot her name, who tells Miss Marple she thinks something is off, usually has these feelings with things and with people, and she's mostly always right, which is why Miss Marple believes her and decides to go to Stony Gates, where their third friend lives, figure out, you know, why her first friend is thinking that something is off <laughs> with the third friend. She goes to Stony Gates, where she lives, which tries to study everyone who's living there, tries to figure out who is possibly a threat to their third friend. It's a very nice little cozy book, and I really enjoyed it. I guess in some parts, I thought it was a bit monotonous. I guess I didn't really like the way the investigation was set up. I'm more used to reading this guy <laughs> books that involve him, and I really like his detective. Well, he is a detective, so his detective way of finding out what happened, and he's very particular in the way he sees things. He always needs everything to be proper. However, I noticed Miss Marple had nothing in particular for me to really love as a lead character, and I feel like sometimes maybe like maybe like this through the book, like this much, she was kind of lost in the book, and she was more of a side character once the detective comes in. And then once the detective comes in, it's more just like a oh, we're, I'm, we're, I'm just reading a normal investigation. But the way I'm talking about this book, I'm pretty sure I gave this a three star. But let me check. Yes, I gave it a three star. Um, because it was it was a nice cozy read. Like I really wanted to know what's happening, but also nothing too special about it. So. That's what I thought about this book. I read Carnival, and uh, I talked about this in my last video as well. There's Carnival, which is a performance carnival set up every year in a particular location, and you can only get invited through a private invitation. And the main characters of this book are Scarlett and Tella, her sister. They're personally invited, and they have a third person, a sailor, who influences them to really take that step to go to the event. And when Scarlett reaches the island, she notices her sister is in there with her, and it uh, turns out she's actually a part of the game now. Scarlett has to find Tella, her sister, for the game to end, for her to basically also just find her sister safe and sound. I absolutely enjoy this book. I gave it a five star. This was one of the first fantasy books I read, uh, which is more magic themed, and I really enjoyed it. I loved each and every character. I loved the world building. I loved the sailor, which I didn't think I would love. Lots of sobbing towards the end of the book. I cried a lot. Also, people told me I should read this before I read the Once Upon a Broken Heart series because you read something about Jax in these books. I don't think I read anything about Jax in this book. Every word I was reading, I was like really searching for, oh my god, are they describing Jax here? Is Jax gonna appear? Oh my god, is a, this person a Jax? Don't think I noticed anything that involved him or maybe they did describe him and I'll just figure it out in the other books. This was a really fun read and it was again I was just happy reading this all the time. Really enjoyed it. And the last book that I was so excited to talk about The Inheritance Games. This was a book that I was constantly recommended by so many people. I gave it I gave it up. How much? Mm, no, never mind. I thought I gave it a five star. I gave it a four star, but I really enjoyed it. This book is basically about Avery. Avery is a normal girl. She doesn't have that much money. She doesn't have a mother. Her dad's run away. So she's alone, basically. She lives with her elder sister. This one day, she figures out that a billionaire has left all his money to her. And now she's a billionaire. I thought this book was this was, again, as it says on the on the back, impossible to put down. I was just three pages in and wanted to read more. Also, it has very short chapters, like two to three pages short, sometimes just two pages, and that just made me feel accomplished in itself. I thought I was doing a lot when really I wasn't, and so I just kept reading more and more and more until the book was over. Also, I loved the puzzles aspect in this. I didn't know what the puzzles would be like because I guess I just never read a book like that. It was amazing and the way the house was described, the mystery was described, and the puzzles were described, I really understood it. Even though if I read it like quickly, I was able to understand what the author was talking about. And also, I just really loved reading about a girl who had nothing and now she is given everything and you know, what she chooses, what she chooses to do with it, how she deals with that situation. I guess it was really nice putting myself in, that, in those shoes and being like, oh, would I do the same thing? Because like, who wouldn't want an opportunity to be given billions of dollars? This book did end on a cliffhanger so I'm excited to read the rest of the books from the series. I think this was also one of the books where most if not all of the characters that I read about I really 
loved. They each had their own personality, a personality that I really liked. Never, you know, fun to read a character who is consistently brought up into conversations but doesn't actually have anything important to say. But not in this book. And there are three more books in this series, so I'm excited to read that. And I think all three of them are equally as small and have short chapters, so I'm excited for that. And I gave it a four star. Actually, I said I gave it a five star, but after I marinated on it, also I was just feeling a four star, I decided that is what I would go with. And so I went to the four star because I did enjoy the book. It was fabulous, amazing, I would highly recommend. However, I don't know, I guess just reading throughout, it just felt like a four star to me. I'm excited to add this into another series collection on my bookshelf. I feel like that's so exciting. I never thought I would be a series girly, but I have become one. I'm super excited to be a part of all these series that I've read this month so far. So those were all the books that I read this month. I'm so happy with the books I read. There's not any book in particular that I really hated. I feel like they all, all were a good time. And I'm super excited to read all the new books that I have for the next month in April. If there's any series from this, these books that I shared that I'd like to be finished with by the end of this month would probably be part of all because um, I just have two more books to rate of those. And I also ordered the two books and I they are on my bookshelf sitting right now for me to read. But if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up, really helps out. Let me know in the comments if any of these books you read this month as well. If you've already read them, what you thought of them. And if you like, make sure to follow me on these platforms. Uh, make sure to subscribe as well so that you know you catch up on the videos I post every week. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Lay on me.